Hey guys, thanks for joining me here on my YouTube channel. I'm Lorraine with Lorraine Corbanic Fitness and today I am bringing a full length Tabata workout. So I'm super excited because we are going to sweat together. Your heart rates are going to be all the way up and the best part of this is for those of you that have a real hard time with impact this is low impact cardio Tabata so there'll be no jumping it's nice and gentle on those joints it's for everybody maybe your kids even want to get involved and here's the thing it's body weight you do not need any equipment now you may be noticing here that I've got my kettlebell we are going to do a kettlebell swing but you don't need a kettlebell you don't need a dumbbell if you have one of those, that's great. Use it. If you don't, go grab yourself a wine bottle. Don't drop it though. Or um, like your paper towel holder, something that you could just hold on to. We've got a plethora of things in our household. Grab something that has a little bit of weight and we'll use that. Otherwise, it's all body weight. You may want a yoga mat. We are going to be getting down on the ground. I'm not using one today. I'm outside. I'm just going to get down and dirty on my deck. Hopefully you're ready. No, we are not ready. Let's do a little bit of a warm up, shall we? We've got to warm up before we do eight rounds of eight different exercises going 20 seconds hard work and then a 10 second rest. We do that eight times for every exercise. So if you've never done Tabata before, get ready, prepare that mind, tell yourself you're in it for the long haul. We're going to do it together. Hopefully you're here swinging your arms with me. We're just going to have fun. So drop the ego, drop the pride doesn't matter what you look like let's go forward and back with those arms sometimes I make mistakes sometimes I fall over I lose my balance we just keep going that's why I don't do retakes I don't edit out my blunders because we are real people and sometimes that happens all right let's march on the spot just bringing your knee up to the chest keep those arms moving we want to get that blood flowing all the way from the tips of our toes all the way to the tips of our fingers we want to sweat today and we certainly don't want to injure ourselves that's why we warm up so maybe you want a different warm-up that's fine you can pause this video you can go run your stairs in your house grab that skipping rope whatever you need to do to get nice and warm <sighs> make sure you're breathing nice deep breaths all right let's just stand on one leg take the other leg out we're gonna swing it out if you need to hold on to something go ahead a wall, a chair, a bench. We just want to take that leg, swing it up, warm up that hip, inner and outer thighs. That's right. And take it over to the opposite side. Moving over here, make sure I don't kick anything. Wouldn't be the first time. All right. A couple more here. And hopefully you've got your water bottle nearby, maybe a sweat towel. I finally remembered mine today. Sometimes we need that. And we are going to get started, folks. I am so excited. So the first one we're going to do is a squat and pivot reach. You're going to take your feet roughly hip distance apart. You're going to squat down. Make sure you stick your booty way behind you. When you come up, pivot on the left foot and reach with that left arm. Come back into your squat, pivot on the right foot, reach with the right arm. Now, if you are hardcore and you want some dumbbells, grab some dumbbells. That's fantastic. We're going to engage through the core. We're going to just keep that torso nice and upright. It's going to be fun. It's going to be dirty. And we are starting. Are you ready? Get ready, because here we go. It's starting now. Oh, yeah. Get ready. Four, three, two, one. It's squat and reach squat and reach now you can pick up the pace if you want right totally easy to make it a little faster or you can go slower very nice and pause there's your first break that was 20 seconds of work right now we rest for 10 seconds get ready three two one and work squat and pivot. Now make sure when you're squatting that the knees do not go past your toes. They don't stick out beyond the toes. Beautiful. Whew. And break. Good job. So from the side, booties behind you. Knees are not past the toes. Yeah? Maybe I'll do this to the side. Get ready. Go. Really sink that booty down nice and low. 
And we really want to make sure we're pivoting on that foot before we twist to protect those knees, yeah? Woo! Love it. Two, one, and break. 10 seconds. It's enough time to grab some water. Get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Squat and reach. Woo! So good. Come on. Keep going. Woo! Four, three, two, one, and break. That was round four. Four more rounds of this one. Are you ready? Come on, guys. Halfway. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Squat and reach. Doesn't change. We're doing four more rounds of this, baby. Woo! Tuck in those tummies. Strong core. Pivot. Woo! Four, three, two, one, and break. And remember, if you don't want to break, you don't have to. Maybe you've got tons of energy and you just want to work through the break. Go for it. Otherwise, three, two, one, let's go. Woo! Working into those legs. Good morning, quads, hammies. And those glutes, can't forget that bottom. Yeah. Working that too. Four, three, two, one, and break. Whoo. Little dance in between, why not? Can't care what you look like. That doesn't matter. Let's go. Now, it does matter what you look like when you're performing the exercises, right? We want to make sure we have good form. Come on, press up through those heels. Breathe. And break. Two more. Oh, he just said final round. I miscounted. I do that all the time. Let's go. Good thing I have a little guy here to guide me. Counts in for me. <laughs> Sometimes I get ahead of myself. Sometimes I want to do more. Come on, keep punching that sky. Twist. Three, two, one, break. Ow! Grab water. You're on a break. That was faster than I thought. I thought we had one more. All right. This is your minute of break. I'm gonna show you what the next exercise is. It is a sprinter drive. So I'm gonna face to the side here. I'm gonna lean over at the waist. I'm gonna take one leg behind me, arms in front, driving the knee into the arms. Now, if you wanna really challenge your core, you're gonna keep that leg off the ground the entire time, not touching down. So you may see me tap down. You may see me start to tap down every single time. That's fine. If you wanna keep that leg up, you keep that leg up. We're gonna do the first four rounds on one leg, and then we're gonna turn around and do the opposite leg. All right? So of course if you want to alternate legs, maybe you just can't stand all four rounds on one leg, you go ahead and alternate one round on one leg, one round on the other, but whatever you do, get ready. All right? Pretend you're running for a prize. What are you looking for? What's in your sights? Lean forward, arms up, and drive. Yeah, that's it. So if you're balancing on one leg, it's really important that you put a soft bend in that knee. We don't ever want to lock up those joints, particularly when they're bearing all our weight. Beautiful. Break. Round one. How did that feel? You're really grounding down through that standing foot. All right, 10 seconds is almost gone. Get ready. Go. Same leg. And your core is working here. It's working to stabilize you. So pull that navel into the spine. Tighten those abs. Shh. Shh. Pulling something imaginary into that knee. Four, three, two, one. Round two gone. You can always lift up that standing leg. Circle out the ankle. Give it some love. Are you ready? Round three. Go. 
get that balance, which I don't have, <laughs> early in the morning, love it, drive it, yeah, in, and pull, feel it in those hips, yeah, <laughs> and break, I looked at you, lost my balance, we've got one more on this leg and then we're switching it over, beautiful job, are you ready, and go, 20 seconds here. This is the last one on this leg. Come on. And pull it. Remember, you can be tapping down that foot. It can rest in between. Yeah? Hey. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, you're nice and warm now. Two, one, break. We're switching sides. Uh, should I turn around? I'll probably kick those. I think I'm going to stay this way and not kick my kettlebell. Get ready and go. So it's gonna feel funny the first time switching sides, yeah? Kicking that leg back. Uh, uh. Soft standing leg. Almost done. And break, yeah. Three more on this second leg. Get ready. Three, two, one, come on and drive it. Drive it. And remember, the tempo is up to you. You don't have to be following my tempo. Maybe you're going much slower, right? Really controlled. Maybe you're going super speed. Up to you, break. Two more. Breathe deep. Get ready. Two, one, and sprinter. Sprint drive. Great for the balance, great for the core, great for that standing leg and glute. Man, this is pretty much a full body one. And we're working those arms, right? They're pulling out in front. And break. One more. I'm almost positive I've counted right this time. Four. Three, two, one, let's go. Drive it. Last one, make it count. Beautiful, I know you're doing great. Come on, finish strong. Six, five, four, three, two, one, break. Well done, my friends, well done. Definitely warm now. So if you're taking water, take it now. Let it get a chance to get all the way down because we're gonna be in an inversion, upside down, downward facing dog. So in downward facing dog, we're gonna take one leg, swing it up behind us, and then we're gonna come forward, tap our elbow with our knee. So it looks like this. Downward dog, upside down, hands are shoulder width apart, feet are hip distance apart. Swing one leg up, bring it forward, tap the elbow or at least reach for it. I'll move back a little bit. All right, so downward facing dog, swing the leg, come forward, tap that elbow. Four rounds on one leg, last four on the other. All right, hey, my deck's clean. Get ready, get yourself in down dog. Wide spread those fingertips, you can grip your mat or grip the ground. Shoulder distance apart, hips, are high in the air, feet are hip distance apart. Yeah? And by swinging up one leg, that's three-legged dog, we ripple forward, tap the elbow. Tuck in those tummies. Get ready. Two, one, ripple forward, tap that elbow. Sweep that leg up, come forward, tap that elbow. Up, and tap. Up, and tap. Oh my goodness, this feels marvelous. So good for those psoas. Two, one, and break. So you can sit down, you can come up to standing, although I wouldn't recommend it if you've only got 10 seconds. I'm staying here, get ready, and go. Same leg, unless of course your body is telling you you need to switch. Listen to your body. It might be saying, no, that leg is done. We're switching over. That's okay, you can go right, left, right, left. I'm staying on my right. Two, one, and break. 
so that's two on one side. Two more on that leg if you're with me, if you're staying with me on one side. All right, get ready. One and go. Oh yeah, love this one. Great for those shoulders, hey? Little shoulder builder. Chest, back is working here. Again, it's a nice full body. No impact or low impact. One and break. If wrists are an issue, take the break to circle them out. Then get ready. Two, one, next one, let's go. This is number four on this leg. Keep going. Head is just naturally following the neck and spine. Breathe. Two, one, and break. Okay, so that was four on the right leg. Go on out over to that left leg. Get ready. Two, one, let's go. Sweep it up and tap. And don't worry about how high up that leg goes behind you. That's not the point. Just do the best you can. Give it all you got. Two, one, and break. That's all we can ask, right? Is just keep trying, keep moving, modify as you need, get ready. Two, one, three-legged dog, elbow tap. Reaching for the elbow. It doesn't matter if you can't actually tap it. You're reaching. And we are on one leg, so that core is really working. Two, one, beautiful. Two more friends, how you doing? All right, get ready. Upside down V. One, go. Whoo, up and forward. Up, reach that leg to the sky. Feels so good. Whoo. Really feeling those shoulders. Getting a nice lubrication here. And break. One more, my friend. So good. All right. Are you ready? Let's go. Whoo! Tap it. Bringing that knee forward. Up near the chest. Put that smile on your face. Whoo! Up and forward. Reach and tap. Don't quit yet, we're almost done. Woo! That's it, my friends. That was that round. Those are done. Give yourself a pat on the back. All right. So this is the one where we're gonna do a swing. So if you don't have any weights at all, you might just want something to hold on to, but if you don't, you can still do your swing without it. You stand with your feet shoulder distance apart, shoulder distance apart, you hinge your hips back. We're not squatting, it's a hinge of the hips and a thrust of the hips, just like this. Make sure the shoulders aren't hunched forward. Hopefully I won't break my windows here. So shoulder distance apart with those feet. I'm hinging back, thrusting up to shoulder height. Yeah? All right. Again, you can be holding on to something else. Don't let it limit you if you don't have weights. All right, pull up the pants, wipe your snotty nose, fix your beautiful hair, whatever you gotta do, take a big sip of air. All right, we're ready, we got this friends. <sighs> Feet are parallel, pointing straight forward, yeah? Shoulders back, tummy engaged. Four, three, two, one, and hinge and thrust. Hinge, thrust. So we're squeezing that tush as we thrust the hips forward. But you may notice, this is pretty much full body again. Our shoulders are working, our arms, two, one, and break. So you can break, I don't wanna break, so I'm gonna keep going. I'll count you in, four, three, two, one, work. Sometimes I just want to work through those breaks 
get good and exhausted and then take a break. Thrust, thrust, love it. Four, three, two, one, break. I'm gonna keep going. I know some people turn up their music really loud when they're doing my videos, so hopefully they understand what I'm doing. Three, two, one, get in it, we're working. Woo! Love this one. Watch those knees. Now they do straighten out when we're thrusting, that's okay. Soft bend as you hinge those hips back. Woo! Kind of like we're a pendulum. Hips are the fulcrum. And break. I'm going. You got 10 seconds break. Four, three, two, one, work. Come on, come on. And don't feel any pressure to work through the break just because I am. Yeah. Nice deep breaths here. Almost done, people. Three, two, one, break. All right, I'll take a quick break. Remember my sweat towel today, that's good. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Thrust it. Oh yeah. Try not to hang on so tight to your dumbbell or your water bottle or your kettlebell or whatever you're holding on to. So tight that your hands are cramping up. Just make sure you've got it hard enough that it's not gonna fall or slip out. Break! <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. This one just is a little bit. I don't know, it just calls to me to keep going. Three, two, one. You're working. Yeah, come on. We've got two more rounds after this one. Thrust it, thrust it. I think I lost my thrust a little bit. Now I'm giving her. Get that butt involved. Whoo! Four, three, two, one, break. I'm going. Get ready. Four, three, two, one, work. Here we go. We're finishing strong, right? Chest is still high, shoulders still back. Whoo! Two, one, break. One more round. Are you ready? So exciting. Shoulders back, tummy in. Three, two, one, kick it. Press those hips forward. Feel those glutes engage. Beautiful. Seven, six, five, three, two, one, you're done. Hey, nice work, my friends. Kettlebell, kettlebell thrusts are done. Whew. All right, a little bit of water. And we are halfway through the exercises. We've done four. Now we're getting down to the last four. So reverse lunge and press. So we're gonna take our right leg, take a big lunge behind us, make sure when you lunge, the front knee is not past the toe. That's not a lunge. Okay, so big enough step behind that you're here. Opposite arm, left arm, is gonna press up when you come up to standing. So if you wanna hold on to a dumbbell, feel free. So again, it's reverse lunge and press. Reverse lunge and press, and just like always, four rounds on one leg, four rounds on, the last four rounds on the other leg, unless you need to alternate. All right? So if you need that dumbbell, or weight, or water bottle, grab it. That's awesome. You know your limits, you know what you can handle. Whew. Shake it out, get ready. Yeah. Everything should be feeling nice. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Reverse lunge and press. And again, tempo is up to you. You could be going a little slower, yeah? Or you could be going a little faster. Keep breathing. Two, one, break. So you really feel it on that standing leg, don't you? So during break time, give it a little break. Here we go. Two, 
One, let's go. Step it back and press it up. Strong, strong. Even if you're not holding a weight, pretend you're holding a weight, think you're holding a weight and thrust it up. Four, three, two, one, break. And if you can do it without losing your balance, make sure you're looking at that front knee. Get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. So look down, make sure that knee is not beyond that toe. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice here. I can see the ducks and the geese on the water. Whew. Beautiful. Two, one, break. One more on this leg, right? I'm pretty sure that was three. All right. We can do it. Get ready. Let's go. Step it back. Thrust it up. Little lunge. Great for that psoas. Great for the standing quad. Working those arms. I love it. It's going to be a great day, friends. Keep going. Almost done. Two, one, break. We're switching it over. Okay? Halfway. Get ready. Should I go this way? Yeah, sure. Beautiful. Big step back, right? Strong arm. Nice big exhale as you thrust it up. And break. How does that feel? Like I said, that transition going from one leg to the other always feels a little funky. But we're ready now. Let's go. Step it back. And you know, you might be wavering around. You might be kind of off balance a little bit. And that stands to reason because every time we step back, we are having to balance. Breathe. Two, one, break. Yeah. Hello, legs. Good morning. Shoulders back. Three, two, one. Let's go. Last two rounds. We got this. Yeah? Sure we do. And if you have to drop the arms, drop the arms. That's okay. Just keep moving. Whew. Yeah. Ho. Oh. And one leg. Break. One leg might feel easier than the others. That's kind of normal too, right? We usually have a stronger side. Three, two, one, let's go. Final round. Whew, round eight. We made it through the reverse lunge and press. <sighs> Love it. Strong bodies, strong mind. Whew. One, break. Fabulous. All right. Water, breath, pat on the back. So we're gonna get down on the ground and we're gonna do a plank, side plank crunch. So down on the ground, get in side plank. Your shoulders over top of your wrist. Your body has a nice long straight line. Your arm can be up if you want. Actually, we do have to have it up because we're gonna do a crunch, I said. We're gonna crunch the knee into the elbow. Extend the arm and the leg. Crunch that knee into the elbow. If you need to modify, come down onto the bottom leg, bend into the knee, make sure the knees are stacked one on top of the other, then just lift up from the hip and do it here. That is fine. I might even come down to here when I get tired. True story, right? The soft full side plank is not easy. So get ready whichever way you want it, full side plank or modified side plank down on that knee. Feel that in your core, feel those obliques. They're nice and tight, draw that navel in. Why am I sitting here? I'm ready, are you ready? Here we go. One, and crunch. Lengthen and crunch. Extending the arm and the leg at the same time, crunching elbow to knee. Exhale. Exhale, 
one and break. You're probably gonna wanna break on this one, I know I am, and it always affects my wrist. So little love, and then we pop right back into it. Two, one, let's go. This is Tabata after all, right? We came here to sweat. We came here to work hard. And it's okay if you're taking the modification. I'm sure you're still working hard. Oh yeah, side body feeling it. Awesome. Two, one, break. <sighs> wrist, little wrist love. Get ready. One, and tuck it in. So we did those sprinter knee tucks. Now we're doing side plank knee tucks. Oh yeah. Why not? Reach. Breathe. Tell yourself you've got it. Whoo. Whoo. Two. One. I almost didn't make it through that one. We have one more on this side. You may see me drop down into modified plank. It's okay. But otherwise, let's go. Strong. Pushing down with that hand that's on the ground as though you're pressing the earth away from you. Feel that strength in the biceps, the shoulders. Feel the hip, the side booty. Yeah, tuck it in. Two, one, we're switching sides. Do a little crab walk? Sure, okay, so other side. Make sure that shoulder is over top of the wrist. Let's go, one, tuck it in. Kicked my flower pot or something. Yep, bye bye flowers, you're in my way. Beautiful. Make sure you're keeping the hips nice and high. Don't let them sag down to the earth. Reach and tuck. Reach and tuck. One and break. I'm moving over just a little bit. Sorry, flowers. All right, let's get ready. No rest for the wicked. Two, one, and tuck. So extending the arm up above the head. Tucking the knee in. Maybe noticing differences on this side from the other side and that's okay. Just notice them. And then don't get down on yourself for them. Your body is your body. It does funny things sometimes. One, and break. We can do two more on this side, yeah? All right, let's do it. Shoulder over that wrist and crunch. Oh yeah, it's always this round where I really start feeling it right there, yeah? Where are you feeling it? Whew. Oh, hold on. Come on, guys. Reach, tuck, two, one, and break. Holy smokes. This must be my hard side. I'm feeling it a lot more than the other side. All right, get ready. Last round. We can do it. Let's go. Reach, tuck, inhale, exhale. Five seconds has got to be gone by now, right? So come on, we're almost done. That feels like 10 seconds gone now, hey? So we're halfway, whoo, ha, reach, one, ah. Somebody else leave the rest. All right, get up or don't. Roll out those wrists, maybe you wipe that sweat. So glad I decided to do this outside. All right. I bet you can't wait to find out where the next one is. We've only got two more. We're gonna do a sumo swoop squat. So in sumo, your legs are wide, shoulder distance apart, heels basically align underneath the shoulders. Toes are pointed out. So if you're a dancer, it's like plie position, yeah? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swoop and squat. Your hands can just be in front. You might be holding onto a dumbbell or a water bottle, something for weight if you want. Just keep the shoulders back. Swoop and come up. Swoop and come up. Your legs or your toes always angle up. You're in that sumo position. It's great for those inner thighs. Great for the booty. All right? Pull up those pants. Let's go, people. I think I need water. All right. You're ready now, right? All right. Low impact, there's no jumping here. So we still really basically start with our feet together because we're gonna swoop it over. Ready, shoulders back, tummy tight, get ready. Here we go, 
and swoop and squat. Get low, get low. And again, if you wanna be hardcore, my friends, you don't want just body weight, you grab that weight. Maybe you're even doing a press, yeah? Sure, you can do a press. We did our first round squat and press, so maybe your arms need more. Go for it. And break. I want to keep going, I'm not gonna break. You can break. Get ready though. Three, two, one, you're working. Let's go. Swoop it down. Maybe you kinda of wanna get that upper body involved. Yeah? Remember, you can modify, you can adapt. Just keep your body strong, keep those abdominals engaged, keep the shoulders back, you don't wanna be all hunched in. No, no, no. That's it. Two, one, and break. Keep breathing. You got this, yeah? All right. Get ready though. Here we go. Swoop, swoop, swoop squat. Say that 10 times fast. I'm just picking up the speed a little bit here. Get my heart rate back up. Yeah. It is cardio to bed after all. We want to be sweating. Yeah, we want that shower when we're done. Never know. One, break. I really never know which one I want to do first when I'm done. Shower or protein shake. Toss up, get ready. Let's go. Woo. All right, let's go guys. Plant those feet, toes pointing out. Sumo style. Or maybe like I said, you're a dancer. Think plie. You got it. Almost done this round. Come on, come on. One, and break. Breathe, roll up the shoulders, whatever you need. Get ready, let's go, and swoop it. Squat it, come on, come on. We're almost done. Few more rounds of this one, and then we're getting into that last exercise. That's exciting, yeah. Just the anticipation, not knowing what it is, hey? Yeah, whoo, two, one, break. All right, all right. Here we go. Swoop and squat. Swoop and squat. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Nice big steps. Get that booty low. As low as you can. That's it. I know you're doing great. Stay with me. Yeah. One. And break. Here we go. Those breaks are short. Let's go. Yeah. Oh yeah. So good. Maybe you're wearing a little hole in your carpet. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Keep going. Keep that focus. Don't worry if you're not at the same tempo as me. Oh, you're on a break already. Look at that. Yeah, keep going. You know you can do it. Couple more. Let's go. Swoop, squat. Pressing up through those heels. Yeah? Feeling this in those legs, yeah? Great. And again, maybe you're pressing up, that's okay. Why not? Little bang for your buck. Little more. Yeah? For sure. All right. Finish, finish strong. And done. I think we're done? We are not. Yes, we are! <laughs> I told you, I need that little guide. Because when I'm going in the exercises and I'm talking away at you, sometimes I don't count properly. So we have one exercise left. Side lunge with swooping arms. So when you step to the side, our feet are pointing forward, it's not sumo. Your hands are gonna be down. You're gonna come up, swoop the arms to where you came from. So again, you stand here, the leg you, you side lunge with, your hands are gonna come down, sorry, uh, towards the other leg. I did that wrong. Side lunge, hand down by your foot. Swoop it towards the other leg. Big circle, let's do that again. Hand down by the leg that is doing the side lunging. Swoop the arm over towards the straight leg and over. Takes some brain work, doesn't it? Watch me after four rounds trying to switch legs and arms and directions. Doesn't really matter. We're moving arms and legs. It's low impact, 
Heart rate's still gonna be up, so get ready. Stand with your feet together. We're gonna take that right leg, maybe you're taking your left, that's fine. When you side lunge, make sure that knee doesn't go past that toe. Shoot your booty back. Hands in front, all right? Hands are gonna go with you with that foot. Let's go, side lunge, swoop the arms up. So you're swooping the arms towards the straight leg. Yeah, it's like we're directing traffic or something. Yeah, I always feel like an airplane traffic controller when I do this one. Big arms, big legs. Beautiful. Two, one, and break. Hopefully you figure that out. Seven more rounds of this baby. Get ready, let's go. Step it, sweep those arms. Oh yeah. Hand by the stepping foot. Sweep the arm toward the straight leg. Swoop it over. Does that feel great? Yeah. Whoo! Booty right behind you. It's finding that imaginary chair. Two, one, second break. Another great one for those inner thighs. Oh yeah. Get lots of requests for inner thigh work, so here you go. Let's go. Hand down. Swoop it to the side. Big arms. Maybe you're looking down. Just check that that knee is not extending past the toe. You gotta shoot those hips back, baby. Breathe. I like to exhale as I point. Inhale as I lower. One, and break. One more on this side, okay? And then we switch it over. Good morning, son. Get ready. Ready? Did I say ready? Yeah. All right, sound like Elmer Fudd. Whoo! Beautiful job, guys. I know you're staying in there. You're not breaking yet, are ya? Uh-uh. We can do 20 seconds. Oh yeah. Two, one, break, move over. Maybe you've already got room. So this time you're stepping with that opposite leg. Make sure those hands follow. Yeah? All right, let's go. Step it, arms come toward that straight leg. Other direction. Always feels a little funny. And remember, it doesn't have to look exactly like mine. You can maybe put your own twist on it. Yeah? Again, maybe you're holding weights. If you're holding weights though, really important that you put a soft bend in those elbows, okay? You don't wanna lock them out with weights. Holding onto weights very hard on the joint. All right, let's go. Step it and sweep it. Oh yeah. So good. I encourage you, if you've never taken your workouts outdoors, to try it at least once. Take it to your local park, do it in your backyard, your front yard. Maybe you'll inspire somebody. Yeah. Two, one, and break. Because there's just nothing like it. The sun, the fresh air, the occasional bird. All right, let's go. Step it and swoop it. Oh, we're so close to being done, friends. I'm so proud of you for sticking it out with us, with me, <sighs> me and my imaginary friend. All right, finish strong. One, break. I believe we have one more, friends. One more on this leg and then we're gonna cool down. Here we go. Three, step it, swoop it. Don't forget about those abdominals. You've tucked them in, right? They're nice and tight? For sure. Yeah. Every time we lift one foot off the ground, we're stabilizing through that core. Shoulders back. Yeah. Strong legs. Two, one, break. Full on, long break. Because we are done, my friends. We are done, Tabata. You should have sweat dripping down. Hair's a mess. Please don't run away. So important to stretch it out after a workout. Yeah, we don't want those muscles to seize up and get super tight. It just leads to injury and soreness. So let's go ahead. If you've got a wall or something to hold on to, maybe you wanna hold on to that, we'll do our standing quad stretch. So right hand on right ankle, pulling the heel in towards the boot. Press that right hip forward. Standing quad stretch, so we're not here. Right, really pull that heel in 
really press the pelvis forward, you should actually feel the stretch in the quad. We're not just doing it to waste time, we're doing it to stretch the muscles. And you could obviously uh, take this down to the ground lying on your stomach. Maybe you're pooped. You just can't stand anymore. Let's switch it on over. Opposite side. Take hold of that ankle. Pull that heel in towards the bum. Press that hip forward. Oh, feel that stretch. Keep the knees relatively close together. You don't want to be out here. Uh-uh. Bring the knees in close together. And it's okay that you lose your balance. I certainly do as well. All right. We're going to take care of those hamstrings. So plant those feet hip distance apart and let's go ahead and stretch the chest as well into the biceps so take the hands behind you interlace the hands gently roll the shoulders back take a nice deep inhale breath and as you exhale hinge forward at the waist we're going all the way upside down maybe your hands will just stay resting on the lower back or maybe they'll go all the way up to the sky up to you but let your head dangle down really lean forward as far as you can feel that stretch in the hamstrings yeah if you don't like the arms up, you can just lose the arms, let them dangle down. Or if they're up, you might want to flip your palms up to the ceiling, up to the sky. Feel that stretch. Legs are pretty much straight. They might have a nice deep bend though. If you don't have a lot of flexibility, that's okay. And then gently release the hands. We did quite a few things that involved those inner thighs, so we're gonna take it down to the ground to stretch those inner thighs. Come on down, pull one heel into the groin, extend the other leg out nice and straight, getting into those inner thighs, sit up nice and tall, reach the arms up overhead, and go ahead and twist to the side and come on down. Finding a foot or maybe finding an ankle, maybe just finding a shin to hold on to. It's a nice stretch for that lower back as well. And if this doesn't suit you, you can always reach down into the instep of the foot. Reach the arm up overhead. That way you can get into that side body as well. So it's just a variation of the same stretch. You choose which, one's really, which one suits you best. Take a couple nice deep breaths here. Heart rate's coming down. Nice big inhale breath, come on up. Let's switch those legs. Gotta do both sides, we don't wanna be lopsided. So take the other leg out to the side, nice and wide. Other heel into the groin. Sit up nice and tall, big inhale breath. Go ahead and pivot, find that foot. And again, if you'd rather do the other side, the other stretch rather, arm up overhead, looking up past the elbow. Soften the shoulder that's underneath. Maybe find that smile. Oh yeah, I feel this all the way up that side body. Feeling it in the inner thigh. So good, so good friends. In a big inhale breath, come all the way up. Now, if you feel like you did not get enough in those inner thighs, of course, you could also take the straddle stretch. I could not do the splits, but you can straddle those legs, shoot your hips behind you, and then lean forward. Maybe those elbows come down to the ground. Keep the feet nice and flexed, so pressing through the heels, pulling the toes back towards the face. If you can go even lower, you can put the forehead on the ground. And if you can't, but you've got a block or maybe something to just put your head on, you can rest your head on that. Keep flexing through the feet. That should really engage those inner thighs. Relaxing the upper body, taking some nice deep breaths here. Oh yeah. And then when you feel like you've had enough, you can press yourself on up to seated. I'm gonna to come to standing to say goodbye. Remember, if you have time and you've got um, some other stretches in mind for that body, you know where you're, where you're needing to stretch, please do them, that's really important. Drink lots of water, have a beautiful day, and let me just say thank you once again for joining me. I hope you had a great time. Don't forget to leave a comment, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I hope you're doing all my workouts. All right, I gotta go. Have a great day, Mwah.